hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will complete these two missions or you can say we will play the game in which the player will complete these two missions okay so there are many ways in which you can complete a mission okay so in this video in order to complete the first mission i will add a collider right here okay so for example somewhere right here and when the player hits that collider then the mission one will be passed because the knight is standing right there and the first mission is to locate the knight okay and as you know that all of the other ways are blocked so the player can't just get right here from anywhere else okay so that's why i am using a collider right here okay so for that right here let me create an empty game object by the name of mission one okay and to this mission one let's add a box collider make this box collider is triggered and now let's simply expand this box collider like this okay some of this box collider down below then move it right here as well okay so make sure that you cover all of this area like that so if the player comes from any direction first of all there is no other way that the player will come the player will only come from this direction but if the player come from the 360 direction okay sometimes there are ways which we can't see from which the player can come because the player can per perform parkour so now if the player come from the top or from all of the sides and hits this collider then the mission one will be completed okay and now let me tell you how we can complete that right here let's create a c sharp script by the name of mission one click on this mission one and drag and drop the script okay then as you know to the player we have the tag and the layer so by using the player tag on the mission one script we will say that if something that is on the player tag hits this collider then we will pass the first mission okay so let's open the script okay and as you know that we have done the same thing for our cutscene so let me actually go back right here and open up this cutscene right here we can copy this thing I mean this method and let's remove that paste that method right here okay and let's remove this change the compare tag name to player and we need to complete this mission one so let's actually create an instance for our missions script okay so we will say public static missions we will say instance then let's add a awake method and in here we will say instance equals to this so when, once we have an instance now let's get back to the mission one now right here we will simply say now missions dot instance dot mission one and we will set the mission one to true whenever the player hits the collider okay whenever player hits the mission one collider okay so the mission will won't be then simply pass okay we have the collider and the script attached now whenever we kill any of this knight okay we will pass the second mission as well so for that if we open up the knight ai1 script right here let's scroll down when we when the knight actually dies so before killing the knight we will pass the mission too so for that we will say missions dot instance dot mission two and we will set mission two to true okay and let's do the same for the knight two as well so if you kill any of the knight the mission two will be then completed okay so double click on knight two let's scroll down right here so before killing the knight paste that code right here as well and then you will be good to go okay 
and actually I just remember now while creating this video that the first mission should be to find the rifles okay so now we have three missions it is actually a surprise for you guys okay because now we will be adding three missions and then you will know how you can add missions on top of each other or you can say how you will be know how you can add different types of missions okay so for that first of all now we need to move this knight somewhere else and this mission one as well so select the knight two and the mission one and let's move both of them for example somewhere right here to this corner okay and for now let's just disable the that night okay because we are just testing the mission with this night okay so now if we select mission 2 select the collider as you can see here is the collider so if the player comes from any direction the mission will pass okay and now let's actually change this to mission 2 because now the mission 1 will be to pick up the items okay we need to change the script name as well now so if you open this up click on mission 1 script right here change this to mission 2 like that and when you change that to mission 2 then right here let's click on rename and change this to mission 2 as well first of all make sure that you change the class name then the script name okay and you will be good to go as you can see okay so now we have mission 2 everything set up right here we will change this to mission 2 as well now okay so now we have the mission 2 and everything so now let's set them one by one so if we get back to missions right here okay let's now add mission 3 okay and then according to the missions now we will be changing the text as well so now we will add that if the mission 3 is also not completed okay if none of the mission is completed then we will say locate rifle and items okay so this will be the first mission then if the first mission is completed and the second and the third is not completed then it is now time for the second mission the second mission will be to locate night okay and now when the mission 2 1 and 2 is completed and the 3 is not completed okay so now the third mission will be to fight the night so we will say fight night okay and then let's copy this if condition paste it down below and now if all of the missions are completed then as you know we will say missions completed okay now let's pass each of this mission one by one okay so let's uh, pass the first mission which is to locate rifle and items so we will be passing that mission from the pickup items okay so right here if we press the pick button when we are inside the item radius okay right here we will be passing the missions so we will say missions dot mission one actually missions dot instance instance then dot mission one and we will pass the mission one like that okay so mission one will be passed now we need to pass the mission two which is to lo locate the night and as you know the mission two is this box trigger mission and that is on the mission two right here okay we already passed the mission two whenever we hit the collider okay then the mission three is to fight the knight okay so now if we open up the knight ai right here we will be now passing the mission three okay save the script click on knight ai2 now change this to mission three okay so mission one is passed on the pickup item then on the mission two script mission two is passed then on the knight ai1 and knight ai2 mission three is passed like that okay so now if we get back right here so now before testing the game let's open up the rifle okay and let's open up the bazooka 
and let me check that by using the bazooka if we damage the night AI okay we are damaging the night AI but we need to damage the night AI too as well okay by using the bazooka so for that we will say night AI2 let's name this as night AI2 this will be equals to that and then copy this paste it right here change the name to night AI2 then copy this if condition paste it down below so now if we find the night AI2 script then we will damage the night AI2 by using the bazooka add the same code in the grenade thrower actually in the grenade script okay right here we are just damaging the object now we want to damage the knight as well so if we click on bazooka let's actually copy all of this code okay click on grenade script and right here we will paste it okay we will be now damaging the night okay and on the grenade script we need to remove that and instead of this we will say nearby objects and remove that and instead of this type nearby objects okay then let's open up the rifle script and on the rifle script if we scroll down right here instead of this let's paste that so that we can damage both of the night then save the script open up the single melee and now right here we will now paste that right here okay but instead of the hit info dot transform now we will use the night word okay right here so we will say night and instead of this hit dot transform we will use night okay since this is the collider name that is it now if we go ahead and test our game on the mobile phone so let me play the game and then I will show you and complete all of the missions one by one so now the game is running as you can see the first mission is to lo locate rifles and items so let's go ahead and locate them okay and as you know we pass this mission by picking up the items and as you know that there is an issue with our UI as you can see the pick up item button is up there right here on behind this thing okay but as you can see we see a little bit of the button right down below right here okay so if we press that it will still work as you can see the mission one is passed now let's go ahead and pick these other items okay let's pick this one up then the bazooka then the grenade okay now the next mission is to locate the knight okay and now if we hit the collider right here as you can see now the mission 2 is passed now the next mission is fight knight okay I will not be fighting the knight I will just simply use the grenade to kill the knight so I will pick out the grenade as you can see there it is now let me move a little bit closer to the knight for example right here okay there is the knight let me throw the grenade and now as you can see when the knight dies okay the knight is in the air but don't worry about that i think that is due to the collider issues okay as you can see the capsule collider is activated right here but don't worry it sometime happens okay i mean in most of the big games it happens okay so if you see now all of the missions are completed which is the main thing of this video to complete all of the missions and as you can see the missions is now completed okay and as you can see everything works perfectly fine now the next thing which we will be doing is to f fix this UI issue okay we need to move this pickup button somewhere right down below right here and also we will be not showing this mission text area we will be showing this only if the player wants to see the missions okay we will be creating a button somewhere right here and when the player presses that button then for some seconds we will be showing 
this missions text area okay but that is for the next video